Hi there, Virgos. This is Astro Girl, and thanks so much for tuning in this week. And Virgos, what a start to 2014. For many of you, it's probably been quite a good start with so much planetary activity in Capricorn. Your fellow Earth sign and your fifth house of romance, creativity, and self-fulfillment. However, for those of you who have really felt the effects of Venus being out of phase in your romance and self-fulfillment zone, it's a wake-up call. For those of you who have realized over the holidays and are realizing every day that you're not with the right person or that you're dating someone that you're really not that into or you're dating them for a, a, an ulterior motive or for a reason that isn't as exactly, it's not exactly, you know, pure love, Maybe it's time for you to really recognize that and take some time out. Venus only goes retrograde once every 18 months or so. So it's not very often. And when she does, it's quite, you know, the eye opener for everybody. Because we realize that life can be short. That life is to be lived and to be lived in a happy way. And that if you spend five or ten years with someone unhappily or just, you know, in a passive-aggressive relationship... That could be a long time in your lifespan until you go into your next life. So really think about that. You know, what too, you, you read about too many people who are married for 15 years and then they find out their spouse had another family in another state and it's like, my gosh, you know. So really focus on the fact that with Venus out of phase in your romance, self-fulfillment zone, you've got to look after yourself. You've got to make sure that you're with someone who has your back, who you genuinely do love, that you're still romantically involved with. I think a lot of relationships fall into the friends category where, you know, passion, etc. falls by the wayside a little bit. And I think this is what this month is all about. With Mars in Libra, which is a very wishy-washy energy, which is your second house of self-esteem and money, that's another thing that's on your mind as well. And you could be worried about leaving the relationship due to the fact that it's going to cost you money or that you may not be able to afford the lifestyle that you're currently living, that should not be a factor. Happiness is the factor. And you've got through January 31st. Venus is out of phase until then. So, and it's really important, Virgos, that you're thinking hard right now and that you're sure that you are in the right place for you. Thanks for tuning in, Virgos. I appreciate it, and I'll speak to you again next week.